We found a rabbit. All right, boys, we're tracking this thing this way. What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today. Me and Zach are about to do a blizzard survival challenge. Now, here's what we're working with, guys. We had about seven inches of snow last night. Now we have about four. I don't really know where it went. That's just what we work with. Is it a blizzard? Technically, no, but it is for Kentucky, so just calm down, Karen. Here's the challenge. We have the 22. We have to get food and eat it. That's pretty much it. Let's go. Now, first things first, we got to get the 22 sided in. What we've decided to do is take 10 shells total. That means 10 shells to both sided in and kill whatever we plan on eating. That's the plan. Let's see if we can actually do it. Here's the 22. It's a Marlin. Bold action. What do you think, Zach? You think we can get this done? I mean, if we can't, we lost we're the not, challenge. Yeah, we're losers. Oh, and one other thing. So we have the 22, but then we also have a few things to help us, you know, get the job done. All right, so first thing we got this. We do have a knife. We figured a, a knife was very important to have, but it's not really a cool knife. This was like eight bucks on Amazon. Bought it like 15 years ago. And also comes with a little ferrule rod, so that'd be nice. And then we also have this. The ferrule rod's missing out of this but we do have the block of magnesium. This is supposed to help us make the fire better. I don't know. We'll figure it out whenever we get... Ow! Did you cut yourself? Yeah. Nerd, why'd you do that for? That's the close-up. Can you see it? Yeah. Nope. Good thing it ain't sharp. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's probably not a good thing. Probably not. That's what we're basically would, No, probably not. We got some pizza box out there, so we're about to let it rip. So we got 10 rounds in total? 10 rounds total. To I think side and kill. To side in and kill. Where's this pizza box? Oh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. It's out there in the snow. You can twist the thing and it should zoom in. Really? Whoa! That's high tech more. right there. Put one more on it. Ooh. Nice, already got a dud. Well, now we're down to eight. Eight shells. Eight left. Let's go check out where we're hitting and we'll make adjustments. We're already down one shell. That is not good. What happens when we go to shoot a rabbit and it's dud? Yeah, we're in bad shape. Listen to this. This is like ASMR. You got a good grouping? Yeah, pretty good groupings. I was aiming right there, so we just need to bring it over to the right and down. Look at all this snow. I know. It's really cool. This is cool for Kentucky, bro. All them, like, people from, like, Montana's, like, bro, like, my house is covered in snow and I literally can't find it. Well, my window's got snow on it and I can't find my truck. Alright, let's see if we can do this thing. All right, we're good. How we're going to hunt these rabbits is different than how we usually hunt other stuff. Usually, you know, you try to stalk stuff and sneak up on them whenever they don't know you're there and kill them like a deer or something. Well, not really with a deer. With a deer, you just sit and wait. A bison, I guess, I will. You sneak up on it. With rabbits, we'll track the tracks until they stop. Whenever the track stops, that means that the rabbit knows that we're here and has jumped off the trail to try to mess us up from tracking it. With us knowing that, we're going to go to the end of the trail. We know he's probably within six feet. We're just going to look around and maybe we'll spot him. Rabbits, a lot of times, will just stick tight and hope that you don't see them. I've known people that's done this to rabbits and literally got right up on top of them so close that they just stomp on them to kill them, which is kind of brutal, but yeet. But yeah, as for now, we're just gonna move around in this area where I know there's rabbits. Look for some rabbits tracks and the freshest ones will be the one we'll go with. Mate, we found some tracks, but unfortunately they are not rabbit tracks. Honestly, um, I think it's a fox or just a random stray dog, but I'm gonna say it's fox because it sounds cool. But yeah, this fox is honestly, he was here this morning, I'd imagine, and he's probably out here hunting the same same thing we are. You think I can? No. <laughs> I don't think so, but you can try it. Worst case scenario, you're drowned. Ain't that bad. What about best case scenario? Best case scenario, you this is your start to your ice skating career. I think I can do it, bro. I don't. Yeah, I don't at all. How far do you think I can make it before I fall in? I'd say about a couple more inches. You got a credit? I can. No. All right, guys, we've been out here for about nine hours. We ain't seen a single track, but we got a little thirsty, so here we go. We're gonna eat some snow. Oh, cold. Yeah. That's all right. Ah. Does it taste like water? Not really. It's refreshing. It makes me feel clean. What? We found some yellow snow over there, but we decided probably not to move. But where are the rabbits? I don't know. Like, I'm about positive they live here. I see them here all the time. There's plenty of deer tracks. Like, deer have absolutely burned this up. Rabbits? Nah, bro. Maybe we're just bad at rabbit hunting. If we see a squirrel, we'll pop him too, but like squirrels aren't really that active in the snow, so we can't really count on that. I thought we could count on rabbits because rabbits love the cold. We've seen fox, we've seen deer. I think we've seen raccoon. Maybe a goat. Yeah, we did see a goat, that's true. We could eat him, but we advise against it. Here's a big coyote, looks like. There's a big dog. Where's my dang rabbits at? Oh, there's some more yellow snow. It took a little tinkle. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this a rabbit? 
Nope. Dang it. We're literally gonna starve out here. I mean, I don't wanna go out and take a 22 and sneak and snipe a deer's face off. I mean, we could if we have to, but I'd prefer we get a rabbit. As we found a squirrel, we uh, we saw this tree and I was like, hey, that kind of looks like a rabbit track. See, you know, you can look at it. It's got two little footprints. And then I was like, wait a minute. It's probably not a rabbit because there's no other tracks. But then we figured out it's a squirrel because it came right here. It jumped right there, jumped right there, jumped right there. Boom, it found its nut that it buried for winter. Something's gotta give. Either we gotta find a squirrel hopping around or we gotta find a rabbit track. I feel like if we could just find a rabbit track we'd be in good shape yeah that just ain't happening this is harder than i thought beep beep beep, beep boop, boop. we found a rabbit it's kind of hard to tell but the one thing i do know is that it has this right here it's a two-footed footprint oh yeah how do we know which way he was going we know they're fresh yeah. these are really fresh all right boys we're tracking this thing this way he's got a pretty defined track so i guess now we'll start being a little bit quieter these are pretty fresh tracks too all right, all right guys we're just we're just gonna keep looking at these footprints and we'll get back with you whenever we know exactly what we're doing he's somewhere in here and we don't exactly know where. Basically all we're doing, we're just tracking him going from rabbit track to rabbit track until eventually they're gonna stop and then he should be pretty close to there or his tracks will start back somewhere. Hey, if we see a possum, he's not off limits. We take him. I'm not eating a possum. Oh, I am. We have discovered we're very bad mountain men. Yeah. And, well, we can't find a rabbit, so we're gonna try to build a fire and cook some meat that we already have. But unfortunately, we don't know how to build a fire. And everything's wet. We do have some leaves, though, so that's a start. We're gonna try our best to collect some stuff. It's called a survival challenge for a reason, guys. What about you? think this is dry? I don't know. That's the thing. Like, I think it could be. I mean, it's dead. The snow's not touching it. That's probably dry. I'd hope it's dry. I think it's dry. I think we may actually hit a jackpot because there's a bunch of just random sticks sticking up. We're going to chop some of these down with our half knife that we got. Yeah. We're going to try to build us a fire, guys. We got the firewood. We don't have much, but we're not looking for much of a fire. If we can get a little bit of a fire going, that, that restored our pride. And what little we had left. We have a few leaves right here. These are beech leaves. We ain't got a single clue if they're going to work or not. Then, obviously, we got some sticks over here. We got the really cheap knife. We got the really cheap ferro rod, and then we always, then we got the magnesium. We tried. I'm just telling you guys, we spent we spent at least two and a half hours looking for a rabbit. We found a couple tracks. We tracked them, and they led nowhere. They led nowhere, which is weird because that's exactly what we was wanting them to do. Like that was our exact plan was for them to end and us find the rabbit, but we didn't find the rabbit. Yeah, tough day. We're about to make a fire and make up for it. Let's see. So first thing I'm gonna do is find this right here. I'm gonna scrape off some magnesium on it. Kendall, I think I just found us some food. Where? It's just blowing away. Give me all your money. Okay. <laughs> this is difficult. Wilderness cardboard. Now, wilderness cardboard. You can find this under rocks facing north if you look hard enough in the winter. We're just trying to survive out here in the wilderness. Alaska, last frontier. Hire us now, please. We need we need work. We wouldn't last like no. 30 Survivor? minutes. Survivor? <laughs> I, I would. I'd be the one that goes rings the bell and goes up. Don't you have to put it on something though? What do you mean this? Yes, for when it no, does no, that. No, 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 no. Oh, hold up, hold up. That's what I told you. Okay. Oh, we're not prepared. What do we do I next? I got you little sticks, bro. I got you little sticks. Ow, it's hot. I seen them blow on it before. Try that. <coughs> I wasn't prepared for this. Is it still burning? I don't think so. We had something, though. We had something going. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. <laughs> Here we stink and go. We got some magnesium. This time we got some good stuff. Oh. Close. Close. What is going on? Oh, there, there it goes. There it is. Wow. Very close. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what to do, dude. Let me get a whack at it. We well, are not good at this. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's really close. Oh, oh we got it. We got it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. All right, we got it. We got it. Now get the weird stuff burning. Get some of the weird stuff burning. We'll knock this in it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You want to smother it? Cue the intense oh, music. Oh. <laughs> Keep going, you got it, you got it. Keep going, keep going, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Dude, this is the best I've ever done for. <laughs> the cost of smoking is real. That's a lot of smoke. I mean, it feels. I can't see. If we was trying to make smoke, we'd be doing great. Put the sticks on it, put the little sticks on it. We just, we just, we just standing around. Hurry, put them on, put them on. Burn, 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 burn. burn. We just, we just standing here and it started catching fire. Oh, I think we just messed up. Maybe we just sit here. We had a few seconds of opportunity. We was just here chilling and all of a sudden, whoosh, just lit up. I was getting there. It's burning. It's just the leaves burning. Oh. What did I just do? There it goes. Don't smother it. Don't smother it. Dude, we're getting so close. Oh. 
Here you go. Can't do it. Here you go. It's in my mouth. Zach's military schooling didn't even teach him how to build a fire. What are they even doing? Oh yeah. Oh, fire! Keep going. All right, that should be good. Now we'll, we'll wait a second and see if maybe the sticks will catch on fire. We don't know if they were wet. I mean, they snapped really nice. They sounded nice whenever we broke them. I know for a fact that uh, the cardboard's burning, but besides that, I ain't no fire expert. I barely even know what How we're doing. forest fires even happen? <laughs> This is so difficult. We're trying to cause a fire and it won't catch on fire. I'm, we're going to have to give arsonist more credit. This is rigged. I think I bent the tip whenever I stabbed it into the ground. You get what you get paid for. KennelGrave1.com slash shop. You want the best survival knife right there it is. First link in the description, baby. Pick it up now. Alrighty, guys. So, obviously, the fire did not work, but that's not stopping us from eating. We're using my Christmas present. Now, this here, this is my Christmas present to myself. I got a Traeger grill, Wi-Fi enabled. It's pretty epic, okay? We're starting to... We're gonna try to take the catchy cooks from unedible to edible this year. We gotta heat up. We have no other than Mammy's stinking deer out here. There's snow on the ground and we're grilling. I feel like a dad now. I bought myself a grill. The cool thing about this grill, and let me just tell you, I ain't no grill master yet. You tell it what to do, and then it sends you a notification when it's done. So what we're gonna do, it may be irresponsible, maybe not. We're gonna tell it what to do. We're gonna put the meat in it. Then me and Zach, we're just gonna go ride around in the snow, and then, yeah, we'll come back whenever it tells us it's done. It hit 375 and I literally got a notification. Really? Yeah, I got a notification, dude. It's epic. I'm gonna go, we're gonna have put the meat in. Just straight up chunks of Mammy's deer. This is the future, bro. You just text your grill and tell it to cook you food. Get the thermometer. Dude, they, Traeger should be paying me. They really should for this. <laughs> Stab it in there real nice. Then, boom, we're shutting it. I'm gonna get on my phone, tell it how long to cook, which is about 30 minutes, and then we'll come back when it's done. We'll catch you on a minute. Well, 30 minutes, actually. Alright, guys, so I kind of messed up this video. I kind of forgot to show y'all us like, I think I did. I don't think we showed them now. Anyways, here's the meat now. It is stinking good. It's smoking a lot. That's because, you know, it's freezing outside. And this thing's just got freshly cooked. We're going to take a piece in there. We'll eat a bite. We'll let you know how it goes. We are down here with the infamous Mammy. Oh, she's going right into it. She ain't wasting no time. We do want to say this. We had a couple people eat it so far. Half the people thought it was great. Half the people thought it was disgusting. So... I think it really depends on what cut of meat you get. How is your piece? My piece tastes very, very good. Is it tough? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is tough? Not too tough. Well, mine was good. It was just a bunch of random pieces from all over the deer just thrown into the grill at once. Would you eat it again? Yeah. All right, we're going to do it again. Next time, we're going to use a back strap, which is the good piece of meat. So hopefully it'll be better. All right, guys, bye. Thanks for watching. Can we get one of the shot? Buy a knife, please. And a mammy shirt. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.